What is going on guys? Gray here. Today we're going to have another housing tour. I'm going to have one house in this video. This is going to be Tank's home here in Western Sky Realm. This is Shallow Doors Realm. A very cool place. Kind of an open concept when you walk in with also some different places you can make up different things for rooms or whatever you would like to do. So I'd like to appreciate Tank uh, for letting me come by and view the house. Of course Tank is a member of Library of Dust so I really appreciate uh, letting me come by and check it out. Of course when you first walk in you can kind of see what Tank has done with this. This is one of those Houses, of course, which are a lot of houses in the game, have this brick stone kind of look. And you can either go with a theme to kind of brighten it up, or you also could go with a theme of kind of the idea of leaving it like a kind of dark place. Uh, a lot of these houses look like dungeons almost to me at times. It's the only thing I don't like about some of the houses in the game is the stone, and it's hard to get it to look, you know, bright, vibrant, that kind of thing. And Tank has definitely done a wonderful job of making this look bright and vibrant with all the different statues, all the different... Uh, things you can dig up with antiquities, some things that make some bright lights, some trees that have some bright, vibrant colors to them. And I think it was done very, very well. When you just walk in, it's very pretty, <laughs> in my opinion. It's very bright, very pretty. At the same time, you still have that dark kind of stone look, but you have some different areas that have brightened up spots to make it look you know, more vibrant, that kind of thing. A lot of different mounts and things out here. Of course, this is a cool mount with the, the blues. It kind of matches you know, some of the different lights around, some of the different tree designs. A lot of different statues uh, here, which work very well. Uh, that's one thing that's great about the game. All the statues in game kind of that stone look, so it looks very good with all of the stone around in most of these homes. Once again, though, you have these bright blues. You have some very cool-looking bright statues, some well-done light placements on the plates and the floor, that kind of thing. The statues here... One of my favorite statues, the statue of Molag Ball. I don't know why I like this one so much, but it's very, very neat looking. But of course, the statue here in the middle is just very eye-catching, done very well. We have a bed kind of set up here. Maybe this is uh, um, Tank's relaxation area, uh, but this is very well done. I really like the look of this. We'll go up here to the left and kind of check this out. Of course, we also still have some different you know, target dummies around, like I said, and a lot of different mounts. These things can be placed very well throughout your home to, you know, just kind of for look, to kind of make your house kind of feel alive. That's what's really nice about it. Whether you have house guests, or whether you have target dummies, whether you have mounts, it can be done very well to make it, make your house feel like there's there's people in it at all times. Of course, we have the what we talked about in several different videos. Uh, one of these things that you can dig up from antiquities. This is an absolutely massive looking building, which is very very neat, and it's placed can be placed very well in different homes. You can do different things with it, and of course, it looks like it just fits right in here. Uh, you know, with all the stone around. Kind of go up the steps here. I'm going to go up the uh, ramp. Kind of check out some of these rooms. Like I said, this house is very open, very big. There's also places like this that you can make it feel like almost a... It's like you're in a different place. It's not like you're here anymore. I know that's going to sound kind of weird, but it's like when you walk in from this big open area. A lot of these homes are, you know, these big open just places where you can just design what you want, build your own things. But this house has a big open area outside and then some smaller rooms around that can make it feel like a kind of small, homey place. Almost like it's a different place than what you see outside. And Tank's done a very good job with this right here. I like the kind of library book study idea with a you know kind of view out the window, some tapestries on the wall, some candles, very nice lighting in here. So it's a very cool uh, look. Kind of go down the stairs here to a bedroom. Maybe this is Tank's guest bedroom uh, whenever his friends come by and stay. Uh, very well placed idea. Some of these small like little corners and nooks, people I think a lot of times struggle. I do at least with trying to figure out exactly what you want to put in them. And this is a good placement. You don't have to have a lot of furniture. You don't have to have a lot of things just crammed into a spot. But if you look at it, you think, wow, this is a very nice looking bedroom. Everything fits just right. Everything looks, you know, to, you know, like it should be like this. You know, it's not, like I said, I have a problem with either not putting enough furniture there or putting too much furniture in some of these places. So I really like the look of, you know, kind of this bedroom idea here. And also, we have a bookshelf over here in the corner. So another good thing, kind of take up, uh, you know, a spot that, it is a small area, but you always can place things here to make it have that homey kind of roomy feel to it. Like I said, it looks like an awesome kind of guest bedroom. Of course, you come out here, I guess what you would call the, the balcony with the incredible view. The one thing I love about this house is the look that you have from kind of these outside areas. It looks like you're kind of looking down into the stars, into the universe. And this is kind of just an area. You can come out off the bedroom and just kind of hang out on your, a lot of people would say a porch, a balcony, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's just a very neat idea and done very, very well. Kind of go back up the stairs here and check out what else is up the next set of, of stairs or the next ramp. I uh, go over here to the left. I really like these lights here too, uh, kind of hanging with the you know the, the leaves and, and things hanging off the stonework. Uh, this must be a Tank's laboratory where he does all his um, 
if you're a Disney Pixar fan, <laughs> his mega mind ideas. <laughs> kind of dark and gloomy compared to the last room we saw. Kind of more of, a, like I said, kind of like a laboratory idea. This is very, very neat looking though. You have some bottles and things here on the table. The stone table fits very well with the, you know, of course, the stone building itself or the stone home itself. But these vats are, are really, really neat. I really like these. Of course, you can never quite make out what's inside of them when you look at them, which is another thing that I like a lot. Maybe that's a boar of some sort. It looks like a tusk. But this is a very neat idea to kind of have this laboratory set up here. Kind of like your uh, your mad scientist lab, which fits well with the uh, the the whole thing with the house. Of course, this is Shaldor's home. Of course, we all know if you've played the uh, Mages Guild story, Shaldor is not exactly the uh, uh, most. I would say he wouldn't be the nicest person, but he is kind of a, a crazy mad scientist, or a crazy wizard, or a crazy god. So you know that was a. I like the idea of having that. Uh, like I said, having that kind of idea of the kind of laboratory here. Go around to this room. This may be the bathroom. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. The bathroom for the, the, the guest bedroom. So you get to walk around. Uh, a nice view to come up here to the guest bathroom. Maybe that's what this is. Or maybe this is the bathroom for upstairs bedroom. Let's, we'll check it out and see what's upstairs. Uh, very cool. Kind of some dividers here to kind of block off exactly, you know. A lot of people use those for bathrooms or, or places where they would like to have, you know, kind of a private area. Of course, we have the sink. Oh, what you would think about it as a sink with some towels here. Um, some nice artwork on the wall. Uh, some you know different cloths and things hanging on the wall here with the mirror, really well done. Uh, kind of like I said, a little guest area, maybe your guest bathroom or your own bathroom for your house. Let's see what's upstairs, and it's going to be the main bedroom. So we're going to call that the uh, the master bathroom, I guess. Uh, this looks very very cool here um, with this hanging on the ceiling and it putting this reflection kind of on the ground, the stained glass window. That's the one thing I like about the vampiric windows. A lot of these stained glass windows in game put off some very cool. Uh, kind of designs on the wall or the floor, kind of however you have them angled. And it's very, very neat looking. Have the levitating bed over here, of course, with the by the window. Kind of have that nice view out your window still of this big, massive kind of area. Um, maybe a place to sit here and play games with your friends if you have friends over. Uh, also a, a area to sit here and kind of maybe relax here, kind of like a, a den off the off the bedroom, kind of uh, have a drink, whatever. I will say, uh, Tank, you may need to get a uh, fire alarm. <laughs> uh, your, your fire alarm may be going off. I promise I didn't cause this when I came in. It was like that when I got here. Um, anyway, this is a very cozy kind of bedroom slash kind of den. It's kind of a relaxing area. Done very, very well. Wonderful lighting. Nice looking artwork. Well-placed bookshelves. Once again, sometimes you don't have to, like I said, I have an issue of placing too many things in the house or not enough. Tank has done a wonderful job of placing everything to make it look like it belongs here, which is really, really nice. Um, kind of go back downstairs and see what else we can find to get into. Maybe I won't cause any more fires <laughs> wherever I go. Um, go back down here. Go around. We've been in uh, to this area here, which is going to be... Oh, it's a fish tank. So a lot of people like to make fish tanks or terrariums with you know different things you can do. I really like that. That's really, really neat. Uh, another great space of or use of a, a small space. Kind of put that fish tank here. Go downstairs this direction and see what we can find over here. Um, the, once again, hey, that's the uh, thing for the Master Historian. I think I'm right on that. I may be wrong. Uh, the little thing you get. But once again, great use of smaller spaces, kind of these corners, you know, places that you would think, how am I going to make this feel homey and not just look kind of left, you know, with nothing in it? Just a very good job to place some little things like this around. So I really like the look of that. They're really, really cool. Go down this ramp or this walkway. Very cool design of the walkway, kind of to you know fix it up. You know you got stairwells and walkways are in homes in the game. You can always do things to make them you know kind of have a little fresh take on exactly what it is. You know kind of just a neat thing to walk underneath. It's, you know there's just some plants hanging here. It's a very nice look. I like that as well. I like that a lot actually. It looks really really cool. People have some great ideas for housing. It's things I would never think of. Things that I see I'm like oh well, I should have thought of that, <laughs> but I never do. But a nice little lighting walkway here of course you know with these blue plants that kind of light it up the area also some of the you know kind of hanging off here or past the doorway or on the doorway almost like you're going down into a cave it looks like we're going down into a dining hall slash kind of relaxation library style area i was about to say when i saw the library to begin with i was about to say this is uh the coffee shop down here but i see it's more fruits and vegetables than coffee <laughs> but uh very well done i like this um kind of this big open area almost like a guild hall kind of dining area an area to have friends over for dinner. We're talking about windows a little bit ago. As you can see, that stained glass vampiric window. 
I love the look that the stained glass window puts off of the light. It's on the floor. It's very, very neat looking. And those are my favorite windows in game. I don't I don't know why. I like all the stained glass windows, the one that we had or we saw upstairs, the round one. Looks very cool too, but those vampiric ones are absolutely epic. <laughs> I don't know what it is about them. I just really, really like them. Of course, you can have your dinner and you can come over here and read a book maybe before you go to bed. Uh, you might need to, uh, if it was me personally, Tank, I'd probably fall asleep over here. I may need a couch after I, I've eaten all of this food you have prepared here. I may f find a book to read and I may fall asleep, so you may have to wake me up <laughs> if I'm still here when you come by. But very well done. I like the kind of this big feast here at the table. Going to go through this area. It looks like, yes, a kind of trophy hall instead of just a room with, you know, all of your undaunted busts and heads and things like that, monster heads kind of mounted. This is a cool idea of putting it kind of through the hall. So you can walk through here and see everything that's been, you know, that you've gotten from whether it be dungeons or trials. This is very well done. I really like this. I always try to find neat ways to display, you know, all these things in my homes. And I really like the idea of kind of having it down, through, down here through the hall. Some other little small kind of tiny areas you see here before we go back upstairs that is, that's done well because you can kind of place some statues here. Just looks like it. It looks like something that would be here that just, just fits perfectly with the lighting and things. So it's like maybe like a little shrine or whatever you would like it to be. You know, that's the great thing about housing. Once again, everybody sees things differently. You know, I'm take me. I had one design in mind and I may come in here or somebody else may come in here and see it and think of it differently. And that's what's great about housing in game. Everybody sees things differently and everybody has creative ideas of, of doing things. And that's why I do these videos. First of all, for people to see some of the amazing homes in game here on PlayStation. And also give people some ideas of what you can do with things. I mean, all the homes I've toured so far, I've seen some things I never would have thought of personally. Some great tapestries here on the wall. I really love this one. I don't know what it is about that tapestry. I really, really do like that. It looks really cool right here, of course, with the statue. I'm going to walk out here into this little area. Of course, this is something you get from antiquities. And I have done the same thing in one of my homes. I've placed it out in the water because I think it looks really neat around the water. I don't know if it's just kind of the blue glow that it gives off. Kind of placed around the waterfall here looks very, very neat. Kind of a gazebo area, I would guess, or what a lot of people use as a gazebo. Kind of some crafting tables here, uh, some of your your chest to keep your items in. Of course, the uh, normal robber we always have around everywhere. <laughs> Every house I go into, I always find that guy. Uh, you know, your, uh, your, your of course what you get from doing uh, the thieves guild storyline. But I always think he's the robber. He always just seems to be creeping around people's valuables. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's it's always well placed like that. But Tank, I really do appreciate it. I think this house was absolutely spot on. I, I love it. It was really, really cool idea, very cool design. A lot of, like I said, a lot of bright places, a lot of cool looking kind of mad scientist places too with your laboratory. I really, really enjoyed it. Of course, guys, if you would like to see one of your homes featured here in the video, of course, leave me a comment. That way I can get with you and kind of set up a time to come by and check out the house. Once again, Tank, I appreciate it, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.